milk? Yeah. You've done it? Okay. He does. All right. <laughs> got to earn your keep, right? Hey guys, David with the Hub here, and we have Elsa right here with Jamie Crouch. Jamie and Bart own uh, Solid Rock Soap Company and basically make soap out of goat's milk. And so we're going to go through that whole process, see how it all happens, see how it's uh, eco-friendly, uh, animal-friendly, and clean your butt friendly. We don't pull our babies away from their mamas. Our mamas wean their own babies. And goats are like humans. It's supply and demand. Mm -hmm. So we feed them really, really oh, well. well. <laughs> Spoil them. And they give us not only milk for our use, but they still have tons left over for their babies. All right, I'm, I'm not excited about this. <laughs> well, I'll show you first. And so I'm gonna sit down and kind of show you how we, we do this. We always go in and we clean everything off. We're super sanitary, so we have our cleaning wipes that we use. Obviously our hands are clean. Like the easiest way is <laughs> you reach in and you trap the teat, the milk in the teat, just like this, and then you just gently squeeze down. You don't pull, but then you just reach in, and there's there's the liquid gold right there. Just slap some Cheerios in there. We're That's ready right. to go. Just throw, the, throw your Cheerios in there, and you're ready. Okay. Right. So are you ready? I'm for ready. This, David? <laughs> I'm ready as I'm gonna be. So. Okay. So just get yourself comfortable. Elsa, we're about to become friends. <laughs> I lost sleep last night. Lost a little sleep knowing I had to do this, but I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good to go. It's going to be all right. We're going to get her some more feed. Okay. Because she's, you know, she's food motivated. Bless yeah. her heart. It shows. It does, doesn't it? And as you can tell, she's been eating. We're talking about you. We are. I'm sorry. What's up, Elsa? Okay. Okay. You got this, David. You can do this. There we go. All right, so. So you just reach in, trap it. I'm going to get it on my hand. There's no way around that, is it? No, okay. it's okay. Look at that. Look at you, the first time. Look at that. I mean, that's awesome. I don't want to waste a little bit. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's your uh, ingredient number one for your soap. That's right. That's about enough for me. <laughs> oh, look at that guy go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> You've done this a time or two. So we're gonna go inside now and uh, turn frozen goat milk into, into soap. soap. All right. So after we milk our goats, we bring the milk in immediately. Of course, the same milk that we drink is the same milk that we make our product with. So we strain it and we get everything cold as quickly as possible. Some of it goes for our kids for cereal and then the rest of it gets frozen. And so what is this? I'm gonna get on this side. Okay. What is this? This is our base oil mix, and I just have a lid on it just for kicks and giggles. Um, so we use organic oils, and we use sustainable oils. Um, there's a lot of concern with palm oil, especially in the deforestation for orangutans and things like that. Well, ours are fair trade and sustainably sourced, and it's certified, so we're safe. We don't, we don't hurt any, any animals. Except, very... for, except for squeezing their teats. And we're gentle. We're so gentle. My, my girls would not give me milk if I was rough. They're okay. pretty spoiled. Okay. So you ready? Let's make magic. All right. Well, when you make soap, lye is a caustic chemical, and apparently I've used these recently. Uh, <laughs> being a caustic chemical, I do take some safety precautions. I do wear gloves because I've been burned, and mm. it does hurt. So, so the, and that's in this, right? Nope, oh, that's not yet. This. That's yeah, The lye is right there. Okay. This step scares a lot of people, but really it's, it's not any different than driving a car or anything else. You just... You ever feel like Walter White? <laughs> I've had people make statements like that before, especially with as much lie as I purchase at a time. <laughs> I'm like, no, seriously, I just make soap. <laughs> I try not to run out of lie for that, that purpose. This part takes a little bit of time because you have to add it really slowly. Okay. The main goal is to keep the milk from scorching. So you can actually see it starting to melt it. Yeah. Okay. So you can make soap without the milk? You can. So you use distilled water. 
Um, the difference between the two is your milk has got all of these amazing fatty acids in it that help with cellular regeneration on the skin, helps speed that up. Um, it's got a lot of butter fat in it, so it's very moisturizing. It acts as a humectant, so it holds moisture to the skin. It's great for people with sensitive skin, skin allergies, eczema, psoriasis, things like that. All right. So we're all melted down now. We are all melted. So it really looks like you're just making a cake. It does. It, it really does. This is where the magic starts. I try and pour it down the shaft of the stick blender simply to keep a lot of air bubbles, but you can see down in the oil, you're still getting those anyway. So this is where it begins to become soap. It's actually a full three day process from once I pour it to taking it out, cutting it, and then letting it set and finish what's called the saponification process, which is the chemical reaction between the lye, the liquid, and the oils. So it takes about three days for that to happen, but then we cure our soaps another four to six weeks so that the moisture draws out of it and there's a crystalline structure that forms inside the soap. We're gonna make lavender soap today just because. Because I like lavender. Because lavender's good. Yeah. It's calming. We do everything by weight. We don't ever measure anything by volume. Okay, so you put this on, you zeroed it out. And zeroed now it out, and now we're going to add okay. six ounces of lavender essential oil. This is probably, next to our face I soap, one of the most expensive soaps we make. Hmm. Because of the lavender Because cost? of the cost of the lavender. Hmm. And I used almost that entire container in this batch of soap. So well, I feel relaxed already. <laughs> there we go. It's very relaxed. Yeah. So then we just mix that in. Well, that's interesting. So how does it go? Just the solidifying process takes away the It does. Potential. As it goes on, the chemical process finishes out and it will hmm. it So will it goes that. from very harmful to your skin to very good for your skin just by Just by setting. Wow. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to color this soap. We use sustainable um, micas as well. There's a lot of child labor that happens in India to farm micas. And so all of our micas come from the United States. They're not farmed across the ocean. Um, they're very eco-friendly, they're natural. So they just use the mineral and then they use a natural colorant. We don't use any FDNC dyes or anything like that. I do literally eyeball it. Wow. So there's that. Which is good. So then this will color our soap a really pretty lavender color. And you can actually see the soap getting thicker, which is good. Yeah. That's what we want. So you do a, a full line of products, so not just uh, we soap. We do. Yeah. We do. We do everything from beard oil. Care, beard oil. We do beard products. We do sugar scrubs, bubble bath, uh, solid perfume and cologne. Um, you name it. If it's bath and body related, it's probably going to come out of our shop. <laughs> so this is uh, more for the aesthetics of it. Right. This is more for, for fun. You can see how it's gotten a lot thicker. Oh, yeah. Which is exactly what I wanted. Put an icing on the cake. Yep. Literally, we use all kinds of weird things to make textures and designs on the tops of our soap. But you literally can just... Yeah, some of those turn out like pieces of art with the flowers and... And it's, it's hard not to just like keep messing with mm -hmm. it. But you can make waves, you can do all different kinds of things, so... So you're done here. It just sits until... Mm -hmm. It'll sit uh, 18 to 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take it out of the mold and the next thing I'll show you is right here. a batch that's already made. Okay. So we can set this bad boy out of the way, get our... So two days later you have this, which it looks like a cake. It does. This is our eucalyptus mint. So it kind of goes through some special treatment. It's not just your, your typical um, soap. So now we take it and we're just going to gently push it through. Hmm. There you go. And you have a loaf of soap. So there's the first one. So each of these are already set up. Our bars are three and a half by two and a half by one. Mm -hmm. So it's already set up to do. 
So after this, it sits for four to six weeks. Four to six weeks before it gets shipped out. Yep. So these guys won't see anybody's uh, sinks for about four to six weeks. Or butts. Right. Or that. <laughs> <laughs> or that too. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. That's it. And so then it goes to, they sit for four to six weeks, yep. and then they just, you put your packaging on them. And then we box it and label it all. Solid Rock Soap Company. Good goat's milk soap. Good for the skin. it goat to soap and uh, you know this is a veteran owned company family owned company everything's safe uh, all the, everything they use in it is eco-friendly you can buy this locally at several different places find on their face Facebook page or their website 